Well, good afternoon. Here we are at the Cumberland Mine, here at our uh, stockpile yard here at mile post 8. And I wanted to show you today battered heads. That's called a battered head. And it's right at a joint. And what happens is the joint gets weakened or there's mud underneath it. And as the train goes over it, it starts to pump up and down. So your rail is moving in there up and down. And that's what happens. This is a beginning of it. There's another one. There's another one. That one's just starting. But that's uh, that's how that first one got started down there too. This doesn't happen overnight. But uh, it started to overflow a little bit. If you can see that overflow. So this is basically, you can't fix this one. This one here can be fixed by welding. Here's another one. Oh, you can weld this. Could have welded this too. We grind all this, this out of here, and then you'd run a pass this way with your uh, welder. Grind that off, and then run a pass with the flow of traffic, and that would have fixed that. But they don't last forever. But uh, we decided to change all this rail and this curve anyway at one time. This uh, this rail here. I showed you another one about the. Uh, Hope you can see this. Pro. This uh, called a mill brand. That's 132. That's 132 pounds per yard. Relay rail. The CC means it was controlled cooled. Beth Stilton rolled in 1997. And. Uh, little slash marks are in a month one two three four five six seven july we've had a lot of rail that we bought in 1997 and have had to replace over the years it just seemed to be a really bad year for uh for rail so uh this is the rail i told you i put up a bunch of videos on curve 49 what we did this is all the rail we took out yeah. Here's one battered head on that curve. The main reason we took it out was because of the corrugation. I want you to go back and watch the video I made on, it's called uh, rail defects, rail corrugation. And it was a little hard to see that day because it was raining. But I told, told you about how the uh, wheels were actually one. I explained this in pretty good detail. So go back and watch that so you understand it. If you see this band right through here, that's where the wheel's been skipping or hopping. Okay? Gotta get up on this rail pile here. Here's another, here's another good one. This uh, band right through here. And it's rough to my fingers. It's not smooth, it's rough. Here's a uh, pretty good example of the uh, corrugation. See this? It's a wave-like pattern that goes through there. And this is just beginning. Uh, it's not real bad yet, but it's uh, obviously going to get a lot worse as traffic goes over it. Again, go back and watch that video and you'll understand. And I don't know if you can see these little scratch marks in here. That's called caused by that hopping and skipping too. Let's go back and watch that video and uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about, what that wheel is doing as it's going through that uh, eight degree curve. Here's another good band. It's not supposed to be like that. So anyway, I'm gonna make this a short video and um, now you know what a battered head is. Okay, have a good one. We'll see, catch you the next time.